Kevin Spacey hasn't learned a thing. Kevin Spacey, one of Hollywood's many elite to have escaped solid consequence for his predatory and criminal behaviors, has made headlines again this week for scoring a role in an international film called Luomo Che Disegno Dio? The film is to be directed by Franco Nero, who was quoted as saying, I'm very happy Kevin agreed to participate in my film. I consider him a great actor and I can't wait to start the movie. And is apparently about a man falsely accused of crimes against children. Yes, you heard that correctly. And while many of you are sitting there thinking, I thought this guy was cancelled, well... Surprise! Apparently not. Because there he is. Right there. Now Kevin, you may remember, was accused by no less than 15 people for various crimes ranging from sexual misconduct to attempted rape. The lawsuits just kept coming. And while legal justice did not come, cancel culture did. And while we all knew it wasn't true justice, we at least realized it was better than nothing. Until now. Today, Kevin Spacey is laughing in all of our faces. And he's showing us all that he cares not one iota about the people he hurt. Choosing to accept that role proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that Kevin Spacey has no empathy. He sat back and watched his peers get annihilated by cancel culture. In fact, he went through the very process himself and he learned nothing. Shame on that film company who hired him. That man should never land another opportunity again. I'd say he should go and work a blue collar job like McDonald's, but he's too high a risk for the younger employees. Would you like to try our new beef and cheese pot pie on a stick? Just $1.99 for a limited time only? Plus, he's worth a hundred million dollars. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Despite the fact that he should probably be in jail. What's the bet he knew someone working on that film? This is how guys like this keep getting away with everything. They're always being enabled by someone. Oh, shudder! I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but honestly, in my opinion, no one should watch this film. Let it gross as little money as possible so that even the corrupt elites running the industry start to see him as a liability, a guarantee for failure, a guarantee to lose money. This, Zoomers, is how you do cancel culture. No need to disappear everything that came before, you just stop consuming the content that is still making them money and giving them notoriety. Stop enabling the enablers. Simples. Personally though, I think we should all be supporting independent artists and filmmakers and creators. I've been saying for a while that I believe Hollywood is in its death throes and it's only a matter of time until Amazon Prime or Netflix becomes the next seething underbelly. We need the independents to counter them. We need the independents to balance out the industry. Exposure should not be limited to the big platforms and players only. There's a rawness and a deeper humanity to independent work that just goes away when the suits get involved. And the more focus we give to the independent scene, the quicker Hollywood and its corrupt cousins will die. And terrible men like Kevin Spacey will fade into obscurity and maybe one day face justice. Good day. You didn't really think I was going to miss the opportunity to wish you a Merry Christmas, did you? It's been a pretty good year, and I'm grateful to have my health back. And in light of that, I've made some changes in my life, and I'd like to invite you to join me. 
As we walk into 2020, I want to cast my vote for more good in this world. Ah, yes, I know what you're thinking. Can he be serious? I'm dead serious. And it's not that hard, trust me. The next time someone does something you don't like, you can go on the attack, but you can also hold your fire and do the unexpected. You can kill them with kindness. 